Hello everybody and welcome to the block that seems to be better than the crate. Nerd Blocks Arcade Block. Yes, it's that time. It's the beginning of the month, so this is last month's May's Nerd Block Arcade Block. And, uh, well, I originally got the Arcade Block, the Nerd Block, because everybody was saying that it was better than Loot Crate. And, well, after the past two months, I can't see how it would be worse. So, let's get started and get into it. We have inside the standard t-shirt, which is... Uh, Final Fantasy in nature. Whee! We got some squid creature that I don't remember. The flame balls that I remember from Final Fantasy VIII. Obviously, that's a pixelated version of it. I think they were actually in the Super Nintendo versions of Final Fantasy. Uh, yeah, there's that squid creature. Oh, the bear that I can't, I can't remember the name of now. Ah, M Muggle? M M no. Moogle. Moogle. Chocobo, the chest, the cactor, the fire dude. So it's like a uh, fighting game, Final Fantasy style. That's actually kind of badass. I like that shirt. That's a nice shirt. Does it say anything interesting on it? It says... Shirt Punch. Oh, God. Amazing T-shirt rarity. Amazing T-shirt rarity. All of those stars. Equip, yes, no. Strength, plus 14. Speed, plus 5. Stamina, plus 18. Magic, plus 4. Okay, that's... Trippy. Another exclusive item. Just for subscribers. So, you're not allowed to give this to anybody. It's just for subscribers. And then we got another thing that I saw that was kind of interesting. Foxhound military hat. Foxhound? That is a reference that I don't get. Okay. I would assume it's some shooter thing. Oh, it's adjustable too. Hmm, cool. Does it fit? <laughs> It fits, though I can't wear it because it's in the way of the uh, lights that are literally touching my head right now. So can't wear that right now. Let's check out the South Park thing that I saw that I wanted. South Park, the stick of truth. I, I want this game. I just haven't gotten it yet. It's uh, Cartman as the wizard. Cool. Oh, it's all glued together. I was hoping I could open this without destroying the box just like that. Damn it. Ah, uh, whatever. <clears throat> Let's take a look at Cartman here. I'd say Chibi Cartman, but no, he always looks like that. <clears throat> However, it is 3D Cartman. They actually did a really good job making it look like Cartman. <laughs> they actually did. I mean, he's not complicated, but uh, they did a good job. I'm kind of surprised. Hmm. All right, that's interesting. Set Cartman right over there. Actually, you know what? Set him on the box. And let's check out this box, this generic brown box. Okay, this nondescript brown box. And it is bubble wrap. Yay, lots of bubble wrap. Oh, it's a jar. It's a heart jar. It's a fairy jar. <laughs> it's a glass jar. That's funny. <laughs> I like that. It is a, it's just a, glass jar it's like a candle jar but it's just a glass jar that's actually kind of awesome hmm. of course you wouldn't be using the jar when you only have half a heart down but uh the uh the paint seems to be scratching off a little bit i don't know if you can see that on camera actually i can see that in the freaking uh viewfinder i'm sure you can see it on the camera hmm. all righty then that's still actually kind of cool I don't know why I never thought of that, actually having a physical glass jar. Hmm. Whatever. All right. Moving along, we have Kick Punch. I don't have a bloody clue. I don't even know what that is. It's not a magnet. It's just a thing. I, I don't know. All right. Ugh. 
All right, well, that'll get the people off the highway for me. <laughs> Blue shell on board. Oh, yeah. okay. I'm sorry, that's just, that's actually kind of funny. Uh, anything else? No. All right, so let's see what we can see. All right, the South Park Stick of Truth figure, you can get... Uh, Stan, Kenny, Cartman, Kyle, Butters, all in their, uh, um, crap, I was just talking to that my, to my sister about that damn TV show, uh, the one with the dragons and the, the, the wiener, wiener, wiener song, um, shit, why can't I think of the name, ah, whatever, uh, I'll remember it in like 10 minutes ago, god damn it, all right, let's see. Fantasy Fighter, that's the t-shirt. What would you pit... Or, what if you could pit the monsters and creatures from Final Fantasy Universe against one another in a fighting game? This is the concept behind the exclusive Shirt to Punch t-shirt only for arcade subscribers. Remember, you're not allowed to even give it to people. It's only for arcade block subscribers. Uh, the Apothecary Jar. While out adventuring, it's always a good idea to be prepared. The ornamental jar could hold your favorite health restoring or mana potions and has been proven in lab condition to be an efficient means for transporting spirits. They're called Poes, damn it. Uh, Special Forces Military Cap. The practical and stylish cap will keep you, or will keep the sun out of your eyes and is the perfect way to hide a messy head of hair in the manner fighting for Snake himself. Alrighty, the, uh, only those who know the Foxhound reference will get what makes this a solid item for your video game co collection. And if you didn't get it from the description, well, I'm sorry, even I got it and I don't play that game. That's why I didn't catch the reference in the first place. Kick Punch Wood Magnet. Seriously? It's a magnet. Okay, I don't know if my pocket knife's magnetic. Anyways, uh, kick punch. It's all in the mind. If you have a, if you have a memo, I'm sure you'll find this wood magnet is sure to hold it to your refrigerator where you can show it. It really does not feel like a magnet. Hmm. I will have to see if that actually sticks to the uh, refrigerator or if something's actually missing. And then the blue show on board sign. Driving can be a challenge in games. We get power-ups to help us along the way and stay ahead of the pack, but in real life, not so much. Let other drivers know they should behave around you with this snazzy sign. Okie dokie. Hmm. Is this supposed to be a reference to something that I don't get? I have no idea, and I don't have anything around me that's magnetic. Except maybe my computer, but I still have platter hard drive, so I'm going to keep that away from that. Uh, blue shell on board, that's actually pretty cool. I think that's going to end up in the museum, just to be a smartass. Ooh, I know exactly where to put it to. Oh, that's perfect, that's perfect, that's perfect. Yes, that is going into the museum. Actually, this is going to hang out. Okay, so I have this little ritual when I do these things. I take the stuff that I think is cool, and I put it somewhere. I put it up on display somewhere. And I take the stuff that I don't really like, and I put it in the box. You know, because I have a pile of boxes over there in the corner with all of the stuff that I don't really care for, that I don't really like. Um, so if I find it useful, I keep it. If I don't find it useful, I put it back in the box and throw it in a pile. Um, this is probably going to go into the pile, probably. Uh, but I'm going to figure out if it's magnetic first. Uh, the shirt is obviously not going into the pile. The glass jar, that's pretty damn awesome. That's going on display. Actually, I know exactly where that's going, too. Uh, and Cartman. Cartman's pretty sweet. No idea where he's going. Uh, I don't have a spot for him. His cape and his hat would get in the way for anywhere that I could think of to put him. So I'm going to have to find a place for him, but he's definitely going somewhere. So, I think that means, in general, nothing is going in this box. Except, of course, the description of what everything is, which I always keep in the box because... Does it have the month on it? No, it does not. Crap. I was actually kind of hoping these things had months on them so I could actually sort them 
what months they came in. I guess that doesn't really matter. It's just a weird collector's thing. So, yes, there we go. There is Nerd Block Arcade Block for May 2015. I will see you guys in the next episode. And as always, keep playing the game and have fun. And of course, I forgot the hat because I kind of threw it off behind me because it was in the way of the uh, light. Yep, I'm going to keep this out. I actually have a cap collection, as weird as that sounds. Uh, so yes, this is actually kind of cool of a hat, and it fits my head perfectly without even adjusting the strap. Hmm.